Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about clotting disorders focusing majorly on primary hemostasis. If you're interested in medical videos, quizzes, interviews with doctors, and many other things related to medicine, do subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram. Like every other teaching video, we're going to learn this topic by solving questions so that you're able to apply this knowledge more effectively in the future. Question number one. What helps platelets bind to collagen? Option A, GP1B. Option B, von Willebrand factor. Option C, GP2B3A. The correct answer is von Willebrand factor. Endothelial damage kickstarts the clotting process. The blood vessels undergo transient vasoconstriction. Since endothelial layer is damaged, it exposes the subendothelial layer right below it. Von Willebrand factor is released from the Weibel Pilardi bodies on the endothelial cells and the alpha granules of platelets. It binds to the exposed subendothelial collagen. Platelets bind to von Willebrand factor via GP1B, which is expressed on their surface. An absence of GP1B will lead to Bernard Solier syndrome. In this condition, since GP1B is absent, platelets are unable to bind to von Willebrand factor and hence coagulation is difficult. An absence in von Willebrand factor is seen in von Willebrand disease. This whole thing forms a complex, that is, platelets, GP1B, von Willebrand factor and subendothelial collagen. Once this takes place, ADP and calcium are released. Question number 2. What is the mechanism of action of clopidogrel? Option A. Increases the activity of ADP. Option B. Activates P2Y12 receptor. Option C. Prevents the expression of GP2B3A. We just saw that this entire complex increases the release of ADP. The released ADP binds to P2Y12 receptor on platelets. Once this binding takes place, it increases the expression of GP2B3A. Fibrinogen connects one platelet to another by binding to GP2B3A. Here's how I remember this. In GP2B3A, there is 2 and 3. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and that reminds me of fibrinogen. Clopidogrel is an anticoagulant. It works by inhibiting the activity of ADP, hence decreases the expression of GP2B3A. In the absence of GP2B3A, platelets cannot bind to each other with the help of fibrinogen, hence clotting is interrupted. Question number 3. GP2B3A antibodies are seen in Option A, bernard solier syndrome. Option B, immune thrombocytopenia. Option C, Glanzmann thrombosthenia. Option D, von Willebrand disease. The correct answer is immune thrombocytopenia. We just learned that bernard solier syndrome occurs due to the absence of GP1B and von Willebrand disease occurs due to the absence of von Willebrand factor. Glanzmann thrombosthenia is the result of a deficiency of GP2B3A while immune thrombocytopenia is caused by antibodies against GP2B3A. In immune thrombocytopenia, these antibodies attack the platelets which are then destroyed in the spleen. Question number 4. Failure of aggregation with Ristocetin occurs in all of the following except Option A, von Willebrand disease. Option B, bernard solier syndrome. Option C, Glanzmann thrombosthenia. The correct answer is Glanzmann thrombosthenia. Ristocetin activates von Willebrand factor to bind to GP1B. In case there is no aggregation with Ristocetin, it would mean that either von Willebrand factor is defective or GP1B is defective. A defect in von Willebrand factor is seen in von Willebrand disease and a defect in GP1B is seen in bernard solier syndrome. Glanzmann thrombosthenia has a deficiency in GP2B3A which isn't related to ristocetin. Hence, aggregation with ristocetin would not be affected in Glanzmann thrombosthenia. Question number 5. Deficiency in von Willebrand factor metalloprotease is seen in 
ऑप्शन ए वॉन वेलेब्रांड डिजीज ऑप्शन बी इम्यून थ्रोम्बोसाइटोपेनिक परप्यूरा ऑप्शन सी थ्रोम्बोरिक थ्रोम्बोसाइटोपेनिक परप्यूरा द करेक्ट आंसर इज थ्रोम्बोरिक थ्रोम्बोसाइटोपेनिक परप्यूरा वॉन वेलेब्रांड फैक्टर कैन बाइंग टू ईच अदर एंड पोटेंशियली फॉर्म मल्टमर्स दिस कैन लीड टू एन इंक्रीज इन प्लेटलेट एडहीशन एंड थ्रोम्बाई फॉर्मेशन The formation of these multimers is prevented by von Willebrand factor metalloproteases. This is also known as Adam TS13. A deficiency in this leads to microthrombi formation and a decrease in platelet levels. Hence, this condition is called thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. A 16-year-old girl presents with recurrent nosebleeds. She is diagnosed with von Willebrand disease. Which of the following are you likely to see in her labs? Let me know in the comments and I will address it in the next video. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.